Hi guys, we're back in the workshop today doing some more unnecessary car mods. So today I'm going to be installing the Dyno Fit wheel spacers. I got these off of Amazon. Um, just looking quickly at the quality, I have to say I'm really impressed with the quality of these. I've had wheel spacers on my Jeep and truck before, but I haven't had any with um, such a nice uh, presentation as these. Um, the paint or coating, whatever is on there, is really nice. They've got a nice engraved print there. 10.9 uh, wheel studs so the quality looks pretty good so I'm pretty confident putting these on at first I was uh, I wasn't 100% sure about putting spacers on but these look real nice so I'm going to uh, install these uh, they're one inch spacers um, I may be pushing it on the front wheels with one inch but we'll see what the clearance is like if not I might drop it down to 15 but uh, this was a full set for uh, one inch so I figured I'd give it a try. I'm gonna have the link below for these if you'd like to pick up a set uh, on Amazon as well. Uh, the pricing was really reasonable they were shipped here in a hurry so let's uh, get these installed. Okay so I have the car up on the hoist there and I'm gonna start in the rear because those are the ones that I really wanted to uh, move the wheels out in the wheel wells the most. Uh, so I'll start with those and we'll see what kind of time I have tonight but I'll do all four uh, before the end of this video and we'll see what the car looks like before and after. This is a pretty straightforward install. So I start by taking off the wheel. Next I install the wheel spacer using the supplied nuts. The set I'm using here are hub centric like the wheels so there's a little lip for them to center themselves on the center of the hub. Okay, so I've got the spacer installed and I'm just gonna stop here and make a couple of notes. So you can see here that my lug does not extend past the The length of the uh, or the thickness of the spacer and this is important because obviously if your lug is longer than the uh, spacer is then your wheel won't go on so you'll have to trim those down but luckily at one inch it looks like my uh, lug is able to clear the spacer so I don't have to cut them which is good because I wasn't looking forward to cutting them now if I do go to a thinner spacer up front I may have to cut those but we'll see when we get there and I'm about to torque these down and the 370 is asking for 85 foot-pounds which isn't a whole lot but there's small lugs on here um, so what's really important when you're installing these is you torque down your spacer then you put your wheel on and you torque that down and if you know any time that you change tires before you have to drive 100 150 kilometers something like that and then you get them retorqued. Well, in this case, because you have the spacer, you drive your 100 kilometers or whatever you're gonna do, you pull your wheel off, you retorque the spacer, put your wheel on, torque the wheel again, drive another 100 kilometers, and then retorque your wheel. So there's an extra step of retorquing that spacer, which is sometimes forgotten, and this can come loose. So really important to do that extra torque. So I'm gonna torque these down and move on to the next wheel. Okay, so that's one wheel done. Now I'm gonna repeat that three times and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, I've got all four wheels done. I'm gonna lower the car and we're gonna compare it to the pictures I took earlier.
Well, I can tell you before I even take any pictures, I like it. So let's have a look. Here we can see that on the front, the tire is now flush with the fender, and in the rear, the tire is just slightly passed. Well, these wheel spacers look as good as I hoped they would. This was a really simple install. I decided to make this video for those of you who have no experience in wheel spacers and are, are trying to decide whether or not they want to do it. As you can see, it's a pretty straightforward job. Anyone can do it as long as you have a jack, a socket set, and a torque wrench. And for most cars, I think they really improve the look. If you found this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel. And as always, see you in the next one.